Hey guys, this is Mohammed Omad, and today I'm gonna show you how to edit this this template I've created. Well, as you can see here, this is uh, the main composition. This is where all the the layers are, and there is the the, uh, the composition for logo, and this is the full render. After you finish with everything you can go to here to render the whole thing okay so I will start by editing the this this image uh, I will put uh, instead I will put a footage so let me see here I got some footage okay let's take this one this one and this one okay show them here Okay, here is my footage. I will go first. I will. This is the, the text. This is the text holder. I will go to the, the the composition below it. This is where you will change the the image. So when you go here, as you can see, this is the image. You click it first. You select it like this, and then you go select your footage. For example, this one, and hold Alt. I repeat. Alt, you hold Alt, then drag this footage to the image. Okay, and it 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 doesn't fit right now, so I will scale it up. You see here, scale up. Maybe reposition it like this, and there you go. You got your footage instead of a of a picture. And of course, uh, to edit the the text, just double click this. And this is my text. Okay. You can do the same thing for the others. Exactly. Oh, you go, you go double click. Select the image. It's below. Go choose your footage. Hold Alt and drag, and uh, oh, and you can position it where you want, then scale it up. Don't worry, no, no matter how much you scale it up, it won't, uh, it won't go outside the border. And here it is. Just do the same thing, and now let's go to the logo. So you see at the beginning there is a logo. You change it. This is important. You have to change the both the both layers, not only the first one. So when you type here new, you go to change this one too and type this new, okay? Then you can reposition it wherever you want. You can you have to it's better to position it in the in the middle okay this is the logo new and that's it I think that's all you need to know about editing this of course this at the end here you see this is the credits I don't know if some of you want to do your own just double click that composition and go ahead and uh, edit your uh, your text My channel. this is just uh, uh, if you don't want it to be there just uh, drag this okay again it should drag this and uh, it, your animation will stop here. Your render will stop here. Do the same here, I think, if you want to render from here. Okay. And here you will render only the... the main composition. Okay, I think this is it. So, thank you for watching, and we'll come back in another tutorial. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. So I didn't tell you yet about how to change the colors. So now I will change the background color. You see, select the background and go to color correction, view and saturation. Check this, colorize, and there you go. You can change the color. Uh, let's change it to I don't know. It's your choice. Here, this is the saturation. You can also edit it. Okay. So let's change the text color. So to select the text and go here. Color. Go to blue. I think it's good. Or lower. It's up to you. This colors. Okay. Let's change the the this this slight streaks color. Go ahead, change it to I don't know blue. I'm also gonna change the the the, the glow colors to blue. All to blue, okay. So when I go like to here, I see this glow. It's not red. Okay. So what else can you change? Yeah, the logo. You can go to the logo and you can change the color from here. See this red? You can change it to blue like this. Okay. And uh, there's also this costume particles. Costume particles. Let's make everything blue, okay? Uh, this has a color overlay, as uh, you notice here. So to change it, go to this color overlay, and you can change this to colors. Okay, you can change this, or I just leave it like that. So that's it. This one. Make it blue. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Mm, maybe some of you would like to to play with this optical flares. Just to go to options. And you can choose an lens flare. I would recommend to leave this one that I've I've created and change only the color here. Okay. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you next time.